This is Sparta! Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Tanks. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight we've got two community replays that I want to show you guys. I'm trying to get caught up on the backlog of uh, community replays we got on the channel. And this one is a T28 prototype by Carlitos Way. So uh, let this guy know what you think in the comments below. Um, honestly, it's going to be a pretty decent replay. It, it really is. For a tier 8 tank destroyer, it's not going to be bad at all. Now, the biggest difference between the T28 and the T28 prototype is the fact that the T28 prototype gets a turret. Now, the turret doesn't turn all the way around, and I know what you're thinking. Well, why is that? Honestly, it's because those giant fuel tanks in the back. Um, I think they're fuel tanks, but uh, somebody will let me know if I'm wrong. But I'm pretty sure those are fuel tanks. Basically, if the gun were to turn all the way around, it would, it would hit those. So they limit you to only being able to turn, uh, it's like, I don't know. It, it's not a full 180 degrees, it's probably like 100 degrees either direction. Um, so you get this huge blind spot in the back of your tank where light tanks, medium tanks, or any other tank for that matter, can sit there and, and ruin you. That being said, you also have a turret that's not necessarily known for being amazing. Uh, and by amazing, I mean it, it's a pretty well-armored frontally tank. Um, but the turret uh, gives you some weak spots to shoot at. Now, you guys remember I played this a while back on my quest to get to the E4. And I actually had a lot of fun in it. Um, in the right situation, this thing can be an absolute monster. And uh, it's got a decent gun. Uh, you can use the DPM or the higher uh, penetrate or the higher power gun. Now he's got a light tank right to the left of him that came up the hill, but somebody just touched that light tank and made him regret his decisions. So uh, Carlito's got to be very, very careful. So you can see he's backing off. You know in these big, heavy, slow tanks that you have got to be ahead of the enemies. You can't wait until they're on top of you. If you do, you're dead. Simple as that. You'll pull the trigger once, and they'll be behind you and kill you. You see, uh, the <laughs> none of these guys want to push him because they know that that's gu that gun's going to do over 400 damage every single time. Usually, and at tier eight. I mean, that, that's something you definitely got to consider because you don't have a whole lot of hit points. Now, he went broadside on, which could cost him. He's going to get pinned most likely. There it is. That really hurts, too. So, uh, he pushes down on him, puts another round, sets him on fire. Ah, oh, you got to love Russian tanks, right? Oh, but he puts it out and then takes one in the backside. Now, get that front armor around, Carlito, before somebody takes you down. Now, he's, it says he's got seven pins, but... He really doesn't. We know that. He's got three or four max. So, uh, he's backed off. He, he's hurt. But, you know, a caged animal or a wounded animal backed into a corner is very dangerous. Luckily, he's not in a corner, right? Does it make him any less dangerous? Um, probably not. Now, there is another pro out there, but this uh, Black Prince is goofy. What does a Black Prince hope to accomplish by pushing up and skylining himself like that? Honestly, all he does is take a couple rounds for his effort. Like, you cannot skyline yourself, folks. Remember that. You being on top of the hill doesn't do you any favors, but it allows your enemies to just riddle you with rounds. So stop skylining yourself. Now, he's being pushed on the left side, but he doesn't notice it. Yeah, he did. There you go. Um, but that guy is uh, more interested in the medium tank to his right. And Carlito's got to be careful because that, that uh, fatherland could potentially ruin his day. He's got a 122-millimeter gun. It just it ends badly, usually. So 
take your time, stay as hull down as you can, and take the shots. Now you got a KV-4 over there, and the Fatherland's pushing back out now that he fired, but that's the beauty of this gun. This gun is, is pretty, pretty uh, reliable as far as how fast it reloads too. So he's using the ridge line here pretty well. Uh, but it's just a matter of time before these guys get uh, behind him if he's not careful. Now these guys are doing him a favor and shooting right into the front armor of his turret. If they were to hit those cheeks, they would pin. And now he's shaking his head no. Please don't kill me! Don't do it! Too late. <laughs> well, how you doing, KV-4? Did you not just see what I just did to the other guy? Come on. That's what Carlito's thinking. Now this KV-4 could be dangerous because he's got a uh, DPM gun as well, but I mean he just doesn't know how to use it and, and Carlito's making him pay for it and down he goes, his second kill of the game. He's up to, it says 15, we'll take a couple away from that for the fire. And Carlito's going to push forward, there's three tanks, one of them is probably that uh, T-28 brought we saw earlier but yeah we have an OI over here which is dangerous because you do not want to get hit by a uh, oh right through the side of his tank I'm not a hundred percent sure that'll that'll pin every single time um, the OI wasn't angled very well but he was slightly angled with as much armor as that thing has you know it's, it wouldn't have been surprising to see that shell bounce but it didn't so here's this t tier 6 uh, Su-85, and uh, let's be honest, he ain't long for this world. <laughs> Are we going to get him? Nope, nope. But we end up with, it says 16 hits and 3 kills, we know it's a little bit less than that, but still, an amazing game for a tier 8 tank destroyer. Under not the best circumstances. So what do we end up with? 4,800 damage, 1,200 assisted, 1,800 block, and three kills. So if you like what we're doing, punch the like button, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, I will see you in the next video.